thank you for joining us for our real estate market update for May 2022. I'm Karen Cox, the broker of record at c and Realty. We've all noticed a big change in the real estate market this spring, and it's not just in our area, but across the county. It's no secret that over the past couple of years, home prices have risen astronomically, with more demand than supply, combined with historically low interest rates, Buyers have faced intense competition when making offers, and the market was frantic. But now, we're all feeling the pinch of rising interest rates and record inflation. The pendulum of the real estate market has gradually started to swing the other way. The Canadian Mortgage and Housing Corporation predicts that the housing market will continue to moderate in the coming year. With mortgage rates continuing to climb and buyer fatigue becoming more pronounced, some may be a little more hesitant to make a purchase right now. In our area, we're seeing a steady increase in the number of new listings, meaning buyers have more to choose from than they've had in a long time. This takes some of the pressure off the buy-in decision and allows them to be more selective when deciding whether or not to purchase. It also means that some homes are taking longer to sell than just a few months ago. According to the Canadian Real Estate Association, with the beginning of the rate hikes in March, home sales fell by 5.4% compared with February. In April, home sales dropped by another 12.6% over March as buyers continue to adjust to the higher rates. Let's take a look at how all of that affected the real estate market in Gray County in May. As a whole, the number of new residential listings in Gray County continues to climb. May saw a 23% increase in new listings compared to April and a 5% more listings than in May of 2021. The number of home sales Across Gray County, fell this month with 12% fewer homes sold than in April. And year over year, the year's sales numbers are down by 5%. In May, the average sale price of a home in Gray County was just below $810,000, down 13% compared to $928,000 in April, a difference of about $120,000. That said, sale prices remain 7% higher this May than they were last year. It's taking longer for homes in Gray County to sell as well. In May, the average home was on the market for 25 days. Let's look at the May stats in each of our five key areas. Consistent with Gray County as a whole, the number of listings increased in each of the five areas we tracked. This was true when comparing May with April, and for most areas, May 2022 with May 2021. Four of the five areas saw a decrease in the number of homes sold in May, and all of them had fewer sales than at this time last year. This month, the listing to sales ratio for all five was weighed in favor of the listings, with slight variations in each area. So how's the real estate market in your part of Gray County? Check out our May Market Update blog post or go to the individual community web pages under the Community Highlights tab on our website for more information. And thanks for tuning in to this month's Real Estate Market Update and we'll see you again next month.